Our healthcare team went to the Yukon. It was amazing. We went to the Yukon College to learn about simulation so that we can bring it back to our programs. Simulation in health education is a wonderful teaching tool. It is a realistic portrayal of a healthcare situation. As students interact with the mannequin, it becomes a more real life situation as if they were actually in the hospital. Mannequins today are amazing. The mannequins we worked with at Yukon College were computerized to breathe, have a heartbeat, blood pressure, blink, talk, and so much more. The mannequin could have a wheezing breath sound as if it had asthma. It could react if it had a medication overdose, as well as the ability to project a voice responding to questions by students. It's such an engaging way to learn. The college has four high fidelity mannequins, so we were so excited to observe and participate in a simulation experience. Our team's focus for this study visit was to learn about their use of simulation in healthcare education. We participated in the preparation of the simulation and we actively took on roles as actors, observers, and we even led some of the debriefing following the simulation experience. One, th one thing that stood out for me is uh, how active they were. They were really eager and enthusiastic to learn um, in the Sims mm -hmm. lab. Uh, so that was, that was pretty cool to see. Uh, I had done a lot of um, um, theoretical simulation on paper and, and how to set up scenarios. And it was just a little bit tedious. But when I actually saw uh, a simulation done, in practice with real students and real teachers, it just looked, it was a lot easier to put together than, uh, than on paper. So I think that that's, you know, it really solidified the feasibility of, of integrating simulation into our classrooms and into our modules. Um, so I think that being actively involved with uh, simulation, it definitely the students and the teachers learn a lot more with that. What I enjoyed was sitting down with the teachers before the students came in and we bounced ideas off of each other and we were learning from them and they were learning from us and it will bring all that back to our classroom. It was wonderful. We also found what I really liked was the debriefing time after the simulation was over and we all gathered in a room and you had an opportunity to hear from the participants first and then to the observers as to what they thought, what went well and also how it could be improved for future simulations. What could be an even better if was done mm -hmm. and I loved the feedback that the students gave and the, and the peer uh, feedback that was given one to the other. Mm -hmm. I also liked going out and talking to the students and I wanted to know about their life and what it's like in the Yukon and they talked about their fishing and their hunting and the struggles they have there and to me that was just great to hear their stories. It was really interesting to learn that a third of the uh, population around the White Horse area are First Nations and that Yukon College has a program where all the staff and the students undergo a two-day workshop to learn the history and the culture and the values of the First Nations people so that everybody starts off with the same understanding and I thought that was great it really showed respect and understanding and something that I think we could we could copy we could do elements of that here with our First Nations students that we have within our programs as well as uh, with other cultural groups that we have here at the center. Mm -hmm. so, well, I think as teachers, we're always looking for new ideas to bring back into the classroom. We want to change it up. We want to um, expand our knowledge. So we bring all that back. And it could be really simple things that we, we should know or we should have implemented already. But when you see it, then it's like, oh yeah, take a picture of this because we're going to bring that. That's easy. It's just like a, a little picture before they get into the classroom saying, smile, it's going to be a great day. Or, or different kind of things. It's like, oh yeah, that's great. How come we never used it? So that, it's, it's kind of that... Uh, they, they were really quite interested in some of our other uh, opportunities that we've made for our students, like our, our opportunity to go to the Dominican. And I must say it was interesting that the Yukon team wanted more info on that. They want to know how we did that and, and how it went and the learning that took place. So it was kind of fun. We shared back. <laughs> I think we talk about a lot of the differences, but I think that also what's interesting is the similarities. You go from a small school in Ormstown to a small college all the way in Whitehorse, Yukon. And even at that, we do have a lot in common. We have student issues that are similar. We have teacher struggles that are similar. And we do a lot of things similarly, too. And you know, it's not just differences. So it's really nice to bounce that idea off also and say, wow, you know, you guys, 
do that too. Well, we'd like to begin our simulation with basic mannequins that we already have, but it would be great to purchase a medium fidelity mannequin to be able to add to our simulation as time goes by. Well, we would like to incorporate simulation into all our courses. Um, well, I think it was great that s some of us were able to go, but not all of us. Uh, so one thing that we'd, we'd love to do is bring it back to our center and share our wealth of knowledge uh, to uh, other healthcare teachers, but also the school, because I think everybody can benefit from this experience. So we'd like to install observation cameras in the lab so students can watch it from the classroom. Uh, we'd like to create a basic template for simulation that all teachers can use and also create some scenarios that we could share with each other. We'd like to see simulation as a teaching focus for higher learning.